9.2 naming acids and bases. So first we're going to look at rules for naming acids. Really nice thing is you have on your reference table the names of some common acids and sometimes if uh, you're faced with an acid you can't quite figure out you can use these to help you. So typically a binary acid is an acid that starts with H and is attached to a non-metal. Right, so here HCl is a binary acid. H, F, H, I are binary acids. And there's two total elements in the acids formula. So to name it, the first word in the name, you're going to begin with hydro. So let's say we were doing here H, F. We would say hydro, followed up immediately with the name of the other element, fluor, F, L, U, O, R, and we're going to replace the ene with ick. So instead of hydrofluorine, it would be hydrofluoric. And then the second word is acid. So just like here, HCl, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. HI would be hydroiodic acid. Ternary acids are acids that start with H and are attached to a polyatomic ion, kind of like right here, HNO3. If you look on table E, NO3 is nitrate. Okay, and here there's three total elements in the compound formula. Don't forget to use table E. So the first word in the name, we're not going to use hydro. We're not going to say hydro nitroxy acid or anything like that. So no hydro. Other than that, the rules are going to be similar. Now, NO3 is nitrate, N-I-T-R-A-T-E. So we're going to replate, replace 8 with ick. So it's going to become nitric acid. SO4 is sulfate. This has a slight cheat to the rule, but it's given to you here, becomes sulfuric acid. Now let's say it was nitrite. Okay, let's say it was uh, HNO2. Okay, hydrogen nitrite. Once again, no hydro. It would be nitrus. The it's going to get replaced by an us, and that would be nitrus acid. Uh, if it was H2SO3, okay, where SO4 is sulfate, SO3 is sulfite, this would be sulfurous acid. Okay, so if the polyatomic ion ends in 8, it's going to get replaced by ick. If the polyatomic ion ends in it, it gets replaced by us. And don't forget to put the acid at the end. Bases are significantly easier. We basically just follow the naming rules for ionic compounds that we learned earlier in the year. So the first ion in the formula, the metal stays as is. Whether it's a metal or a positive polyatomic ion. And the OH we say hydroxide. Okay, so if it's uh, like NaOH is sodium hydroxide, two separate words. KOH, potassium hydroxide. CaOH2, calcium hydroxide. It doesn't matter how many you have of each when it comes to the positive or the negative ions. We never use prefixes when we're naming bases. All right, question time. Give the formulas for hydrobromic acid, carbonic acid, sodium hydroxide. I recommend writing these down, especially the tough ones. And name HClO2, H2S, and CaOH2. All right, that one was short and sweet. I will see you guys in school.